Praise the Lord, little ones, and welcome back to our Sunday school class for this week. I hope you're well and keeping safe at home. My name is Teacher Lewis. And my name is Teacher Florida. We are so happy to have you today. The Lord bless you as you continue. I hope you remember last week's lesson about God's good gift. And I hope you're keeping, appreciating your parents for, for the gifts they bring at home, for the food, and also for God for giving us everything in life. All the good things that God has given us. Yes. Today we'll be talking about Jesus' love for all of us. And we'll be uh, basing our story from the story of Zacchaeus, mm -hmm. the short man. Have you heard about him? Yes, yes, I have. The shortest man, maybe, by then, that time. And Jesus was his friend. But before uh, we start this class, let me ask us all to bow our heads for a prayer. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your blessings, your guidance, and your protection. I want to pray that God, as we start the lesson for today, that you're going to give us uh, the word from yourself, O oh God, and you speak to our hearts. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Teacher Lewis, for the prayer. And we want to really thank all of you that are able to join us today. May the Lord bless you. Amen. And as you said, we will be talking about the shortest man. And yes. um, I don't know. Do we know of any challenges that come our way when we are short? I'm sure all of us are children. Most of us are young. How does it feel when you want to reach on something that is high and you are short? You want to reach to the top? can't. When you sit on a chair, your feet don't reach the ground. Mm -hmm. It can be a challenge. Yeah, it is. And imagine for this man called Zacchaeus, he was a tax collector. He must have had very different people he met with, some of whom were even taller than him. But he went to ask for money from them, mm -hmm. collecting tax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and one day the Bible says Jesus was walking in a town called Jericho. And I'm sure he had a very large crowd of people following him. And Zacchaeus heard about Jesus coming to visit the town. Yes. And he said, no, 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 I won't miss the occasion to see Jesus. So he had to really think of a plan because there were so many people in the town. So many indeed. And of course, as Jalesa said, this man was a tax collector. And he was even the chief tax collector. That means he was a big man. Do you know what a tax collector means? Nice. A tax collector is a person who, collected, who collects tax. And what is tax? Tax is the money we pay to the government. Every time we, we, we get money, our parents get money, they must pay tax. So, or, or you are in a marketplace and you have to pay tax so that you are given a chance to sell in the marketplace. Or even when you go to park your car in a supermarket or a mall, you pay parking some fee, fees. which is a tax. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's kind of some payment that was done. And uh, Sakaias was the chief tax collector. I'm sure you'd collect so plenty of money, wow. a large sum of money. Because I imagine how short he was and carrying a sack of money, money. to his uh, house. Uh -huh. It must have been very funny. And, and funny enough, the Bible says he wasn't a honest person. Sadly. That is the sad part of it. So, if you are supposed to pay like 10, he needed you to pay more, like 50 maybe. That is so, so he bad. would take more than what was expected. Yes, the Bible says Zacchaeus was a dishonest person. Yes, uh, you were supposed, if you are supposed to pay like 10, he would ask you to pay 50, which was more. And that was really not nice of him. Uh, he would take more. And uh, I'm sure people were not happy about him because they really felt so bad about him. It's like when you go to a supermarket and go buy bread, it has been written maybe 50, 50. shillings. And when you go to the counter, you realize it's 100 shillings. Mm. It, you must feel very bad about it because you have to pay double more, and yes. that was Zacchaeus for you yeah. he used to collect more than the tax he was supposed to collect mm -hmm. meaning he would enrich himself, himself yes. and I'm told he had a very beautiful house of course because he had the plenty of money to use 
uh, to build and even to buy whatever that he needed at that time. And everyone disliked him. Mm -hmm. Can you like someone who is bad? You can't. I don't think so. I don't think so. But as you said, when Jesus was passing by the town, I, I'm sure something really caught Zacchaeus and he said, I need to see Jesus. I need to see this good man that everyone talks about, about him. him. I really have to do something. And because you've been told he was a very short man, he did what? He, he had to, to look climb for, a tree. for a place that he could support him. Maybe you would have looked for a chair, but he said, hey, I can see a tree over there. I need to climb up there so that I can see Jesus as he passes by in the town. Yes, and maybe because can, no one could help him. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can read the story because it's a very brief story so that you really understand what it says. For us, the book of Luke, chapter 19, 19 from verse 1 to 10. to 10. But let's read to, to 8. Okay. Let's read from the book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 1 to 8. And it says, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man there by the name of Zacchaeus, he was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him. So since Jesus was coming that way, when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must say I must stay at your house today. So Zacchaeus came down at once and welcomed him gladly. Yeah. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Mm, wow, wow. Look at that. That's a very nice story about this man. It's even Jesus who looked at him up the tree and he told him to climb down because yes. he was going to be a guest in his house. Wow. So it's like Jesus invited himself to the, to the house, house of Zacchaeus. Suppose Jesus will pass by and he say, I'm coming to your home. What will you do? Some of you will start preparing maybe tea uh -huh. and arranging the house uh -huh. so that um, he, when Jesus comes to your house, it looks nice. And for Zacchaeus, he must have had few workers who helped him out around the house mm -hmm. and Jesus went to his house yes and like everyone was not happy about that because Jesus was a very righteous man you couldn't expect a very righteous man like Jesus to go into the house of a sinner mm. but mm. Jesus showed his love be above and beyond the fact that Zacchaeus wasn't a good person, mm. he went to his house still. Meaning, Jesus is able to love us just the way we are. Short, tall, yes. blue, red, yes. white. Yes, yes. Jesus is the best, best friend for all. He loves everyone who is willing to invite him to his heart, to his home. Our hearts are the home home where Jesus can dwell in. And if you're really willing to invite him like Zacchaeus was, he'll make a home in your heart. And yes. he'll become the best, best friend for you. Because he wants that to happen even today. If someone is there and you're saying, Jesus, I want you to be my friend, he's willing to come into your heart and be your best friend. friend. Become your savior. Become your really best, best friend. As never before, like Zacchaeus was very happy when Jesus came to his home. Oh, yes. I'm sure no one loved him. People didn't like him because of what he was doing, but Jesus never looked at that. He looked at Zacchaeus and he said, salvation is also for you. Yes. You can become the best person in the world. And that's why when Zacchaeus realized what he'd been doing, he said, I'm willing to return back more. Four Even times. four times, yes. So I'm sure he even went back to his pockets and moved more than even what he had taken because he really felt that I'm a sinner. And thank you, Jesus, for looking at me. 
and and giving me that opportunity to be your child again i'm willing to repay all that i've stolen from all the people and jesus was happy about him he became a best friend for zacchaeus jesus is also willing hello guys this is our memory verse for today it will be coming from the book of luke chapter 19 verse 10 and it says for the son of man came to seek and save the lost and that is our memory verse for today. Bye. Jesus is also willing to become a best friend of ours when we invite him to our homes. How many want him to be mm. your best friend? Imagine I Jesus do. as your best friend. I do. Such that whenever you need anything, you pray unto him and he opens doors. Mm -hmm. We pray unto him provides for us. Sure. Jesus is our best friend because he's there for us at all times. And his love is unconditional. He loves us uh, beyond what anyone else could love us. Too. Yes. So Jesus is a really nice friend. And as we learn today from the story of Zacchaeus, wherever we are as individuals, God loves us. God loves us. He does. And he, does. And he really wants to be that best friend of yours too. He wants to save your heart. He wants to say, come here. I want to be your best, best friend. Whatever that you do, I'll guide you. I'll show you the way. I'll direct you because I want to be part of your family. Let's let's invite Jesus to our homes today. Let's invite Jesus to our, our lives today. To whatever that you do, that Jesus should be part of it. And he's willing. He's really happy to be part of what you are doing in our daily lives today. Yes. So may the Lord bless us even as we think about that. Yes. And it's it's my really encouragement that all of us should invite Jesus, Jesus our yes. best friend, because he never disappoints. He never disappoints. He's there to love on us. He's there to bless us, because we are his best friends. Right. He loves us the way we are. That's one thing for sure. Yes. He doesn't, just as Teacher Lisa said, if you're black, if you're short, if you're tall, you have long hair, you have short hair, Jesus loves you just the way. You are and, and he are cares so about us. That. Yes, he cares for us. And we are so, so happy for that. And um, coming to the end, I think it's good to pray and ask Jesus to come into our hearts, come into our homes, just like he came to the home of Zacchaeus. And he's willing to come to our home today also. So maybe talk to your parents and tell them, let's invite Jesus to our home like Zacchaeus did, and never remain the same in your family. Yes. Yes, so may God bless us, even as we give to him again what he's blessed us with today, and uh, as indicated down there on your screen. Lord, let's pray together. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want to bless you, Lord, this morning. We thank you, Lord, for your word that has come to us. We thank you, Lord, that you love us, Jesus, just the way we are. You don't look at our appearance. We don't look at where we come from. We don't look at what we eat or where, Lord. But you just love us the way we are. Continue blessing us. Continue working with us. In all that you do, we want to surrender everything to you, O oh God. Bless us, Lord, and keep watching over us, providing all our needs because you're faithful and you're a loving friend. We thank you for being a best friend of ours, Lord. So keep watch over us and walk with us throughout our journeys. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. May God bless you so, so much. Even as um, we are grateful for the memory verse for today, that Jesus came to seek the lost and, and he found them. He found those that were lost. He, and that is his work that he came to do. Like Zacchaeus was a lost person, but Jesus came to seek him and he was found. So let's be found today and the Lord will bless us. Have a blessed week. We love you and bye-bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.